Hello, guys. Welcome to We Fix Technology. I hope everybody is doing well. Well, today I'll show you how you can go ahead and create a Laravel website, technically adding a template, any template to Laravel website and create your own functionality. Often I see when, you know, the junior developers, they get started, they get trouble, they don't know how to add the pages, how to manage the routes, how to inject a ready-made built-in tem ready template to the Laravel, right? There we go. Let's come to the computer screen. I have a brand new Laravel 12 setup. If I refresh the page, this is how it looks like. Nothing else so far. So in order to create a website from a template, we got to need some templates, right? So for templates, I can recommend you a website called team wagon if you make a google search you can find plenty of design ideas ready-made websites from here it can help you to set up your front end you don't have to code from scratch so i did like one of the design that's plumbers it looks great feels great it does the job so in this tutorial i will be inserting this template into the laravel now you can download any one of the template and I already have downloaded the template. Let me show you. It is right here. That's the code. Now, if you see the code, it has some files and some CSS and JavaScript, right? So let's get started with the CSS and JavaScript. Copy all these directories and go to the code base. Now, this is the Laravel setup. You have to go to the public folder and paste all the directories. You can create an additional for folder here if you want, maybe a sets or something. But for the sake of ease of this tutorial, I'm just pasting directly here, right? And if I come back to my Laravel, I see nothing because it does not make a difference, right? So in order to create our own pages, we're supposed to create a controller. So php artisan make controller is the command and then you have to pass the name of the controller make sure first alphabet going to be caps so i'm going to say front controller that's a good practice now it's been created now if you wanted to create multiple pages in laravel it's a three step process if i break into parts step first Go to the controller, create a controller, go to the controller and create a method, public function name index. You can give any name. So we created a pro, uh, pro controller, then we made a method name index and it is going to return a view like this. And the view gonna be front end dot index. So we will create a folder front end, then the file name index right so let me come here i'll delete some of the old testing files front end and here we're gonna create a file index dot blade dot php so resources views here we have created a folder front end now within front end i can create a new file Let's name it index for the home page index.blade.php, right? This is how it gets created in Laravel Blade. Now, this file has nothing. Now, we have downloaded a code, open the file like this and do control and U. It shows the source code. Control A, control C and paste into our index, right? It makes the page, all the code available. And if you see, we have all the respective directories, lib, animate, CSS, and JS, because we already pasted into the public folder. Make sense? Now, if I go ahead, and that's the second step, guys. Step first, create the class method. Second step, make the template ready. Step number three, you have to create a route. Let me create a route named get request forward slash means homepage. 
then the name of the file, which is confront controller or controller class, and the name of the method is index. Also, if you want, you can give a name to the route. It'll help us in future. I'm gonna name home. Now, every time you use controller here, you have to pass the namespace. So we don't have to type the full namespace each time. Use app HTTP controllers and front controller, pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and refresh the page. Hmm. Let me see if the server is running. Okay, we have to run the server. PHP artisan serve. And perfect. We have our local host ready with the template. You see that? It's very simple and very straightforward, guys. Let's create one more page, right? So again, three-step process. Come to the controller and create public function name could be anything I'm going to say about and it returns a view and the path front end folder name of the file about right this is done now let's create the file right go to the about front end folder about dot blade dot php and here we can paste the code of about page let's open the template about page, control U again, copy full code and paste it right here and all the directories matching to the CSS and JS already in the public folder, right? So we did create the controller logic. Then we went ahead and set up the template. The last third step is create the route. So the route gonna be in web folder, route and web.php request would be get request and the url what you want i want about us then the name of the class front controller class method name about and also you can name this route i'll say about let's go ahead and go to this path about dash us let's see what happens forward slash about us and perfect. Did you see that? How simple and straightforward it is. Just three steps. Now, last thing I'm gonna make an add on how to make this head and foot uh, common so it saves our time, right? So we don't have to make a separate head and foot for each time. So the idea is that we can create a subfolder right here within front end, let, let me name it layouts, right? And within layouts, I can say, let's give a file name app.blade.php, right? So I can copy the entire code of about, sorry, index page and paste into about, right? So we have to ensure we're gonna leave this entire HTML till nav bar. Below nav bar, we're gonna copy the whole code. Matter of fact, we're gonna cut it. Let me come down more, more, and that's pretty much it. It starts the footer, I'm gonna copy it. See that we have HTML head, put and in between you have to type yield and you can pass a key. I'm going to say content. You can pass anything, whatever you like. So you have to use the same key. Now, in the index page, I'm going to remove all the code. It's the blank page and we have to extend first the base template, which is front end dot layouts so we're going to represent instead of forward slash we can use dot in laravel dot layouts dot app and it imports the head and the foot then in between we can type section and the key gonna be content if you remember i said and every time you open a section you have to close it by saying stop and within this 
content key, whatever we pass, it automatically goes to the app. Let me paste this. Come here and refresh the home page. If everything is good, it should show all the page itself, right? So we did make the head and foot common. In the similar way, we can do the about real quick. Copy the about code. Let me come prefest. Navbar until here. Copy and remove everything from the about page. And again, extends front end layouts app, the head foot, then section and content, then stop. And within this content section, whatever we pass, it goes to the layout app and refresh it, right? And if I go to the path forward slash about dash us, it shows the about page without any problem. Well, guys, I am really hoping you have learned something today. And if I gave you any value, please consider subscribing. And if you folks see some situation, comment below and I'll try to help you out. Thank you guys for your time. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.